Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another late Friday video. Sorry. I had a hiccup burp thing. I don't even know what it was. And yes, this video is late and I missed my last one and I'm usually packed full of excuses and I still have um, a very legitimate excuse for shit that's been happening lately. Um, that's another story though. Uh, I will upload the other topic, which is the next step, and it is about what to do if you were like looking for advanced things, as you guys know. And this week we are talking about paganism in the family and how to raise kids with a relig like if you have a religion, how would you raise your kids? And would you raise them with that religion or not? And just different things like that. Um, this person specifically says that they want to raise their children with their pagan faith, but they want their kids to know that when the time comes, they are, of course, allowed to choose their own religion. Um, and this person mentions being raised Christian and having good memories from that. Um, these are two different things to me. And I'm going to use Christianity because it's what I was raised as, and it's what I experienced as the negative. But any religion can be this way. Um, any household could hold their religion this way or practice it or whatever. But anyway, whenever I was raised, I was raised... Christian. I was raised very fundamentalist Christian. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a preacher's kid. Um, although my dad, who was the preacher, is a lot more open-minded than my mom's side of the family for some strange reason. Um, but yeah, I, I lived with my mom growing up, and that side of the family was extremely extremely fundamentalist Christian and it almost felt like uh, you know that movie Carrie by Stephen King um, her mother is almost kind of how living with them felt in a way it wasn't to the, so extreme to the point that they would like lock me in a closet and tell me to pray or something like they did with Carrie but I was very afraid to tell my parents anything on that side of the family. I was very afraid to talk to them about anything. I was pissed because they started to invade my privacy whenever I, whenever they started to realize that I didn't like their Christian morals anymore and I was fading away from that. So they started to invade my privacy to try to figure out what was going on with me and what was wrong and how to solve it and stuff. And they still do that to this day because they still believe that I am some demonic, satanic force that is striving to control the world. Um, <laughs> anyway, my point with this being is that do not be a douchebag with your religion and your children. Um, in fact, I'm so scarred from growing up like that that if I ever have kids, I'm never going to mention anything that's like this is the right way or this is not the right way or um, anything like that. I'm going to have my practices. I'm going to still do pagan things. I'm still going to cast circle and do ritual and all that things. And I will tell my kids about it. I will tell my children what the ritual means. I will tell them why we're doing it. I will tell them different things that you do in the ritual. But I feel like I would constantly remind them to go their own way and that if they ever I feel like this is a phrase I'd be saying a bunch to my children if something I say ever tastes sour in your mouth spit it back out when it comes to spirituality anyway um, that was a saying that this old Native American guy gave me a long time ago and I've always loved it um, but yeah, it's just, whenever it comes to religion, although paganism, as we all know, um, I'm going to sound a little egotistical here with my own religion, but 
paganism, as we all know, is a lot more open-minded than a fundamentalist Christian. <laughs> no offense, but, um, I mean, there are pagans out there who, you know, are pretty brainwashed and crazy and leafy, but in general, overall, in the grand scheme of things, paganism generally is more accepting of other belief systems and such, so I don't think you're really going to have too much of a problem raising a kid as a pagan, but that's just my two cents, thanks for watching, sorry, I'm a terrible person at uploading videos, Bye bye